so now we have created our network now next step is to create the logic traffic flow logic the traffic which will flow on this network so you can see as we have four entry points and exit points in our network right left top and bottom so we have to uh, give the logic of the traffic from where you want your cars to enter and then where it will move to and where and at the end it must be disposed of for that we have to go back to our palette okay let's make it a little wider and then as this area is already occupied so below this area i will use this area to to create the logic for our traffic flow we need a car source block and we need a car dispose block okay that cars are starting their journey they are entering in the model from the right side of the network and then they are having three options either they can go straight towards the left side or they can uh, turn right towards the top side or turn left toward the bottom side so we need three move to blocks i'll drag one two and three okay three move to block. Uh, currently i'm not connecting them let's place the blocks first and then we will connect them now you can see the as cars are entering from single source and this these cars are having three options so we need something to to decide between uh, the available options either to go straight top or bottom for that we need some options how can we have options we have to explore our uh, libraries as i told you earlier that we can uh, use the item from one library and uh, place them in another model and uh, here i need the select output if you have two choices select output is, is a good option but for now we are having three output options so i am taking the select output five okay and connecting it with the car source block okay so uh, now connect this uh, output option with the car move to block double click and double click second one and connect third one and connect it okay we are having three options let's name them car source block uh, i'll name them just right car source right car source it means the car is entering from the right side okay for this one uh, okay output 5 that doesn't make sense at this point i need my property panel property view okay here you can see output 5 show name i will uncheck it and i don't want to display the output select output 5 name whatever name you can just alter the name from here but i don't want it to display uh, now you can see there is some prob probability already assigned to it 0.2 to all the five options as i'm not using the fourth and fifth option so i'm making the probability here to zero and uh, increasing the probability of going straight to 0.5 and top is 0.25 and also for bottom also 0.25 right so i just alter the probabilities it's very important to make the probability of uh, fourth and fifth option to zero because we don't have any any link there it will give you error okay so i just update it now i'm reducing the size now complete the flow by connecting the car move to with the car dispose car dispose i need to move little up now it's straight then achha, okay this one car move to rename it to car move to car move to left okay so it will make more sense car move to left and then car move to I move to top this one connect it 
with the card dispose uh, and this one is car move to bottom it's up to you not south east west left right top bottom whatever you feel comfortable with you can use it and then connect it to make it more uh, appropriate i'm just giving it some shape oops double click and then make it like this like this okay i need to I don't want overlapping that's why I'm just changing it like this okay right so we are having right car source which will move to left with 0.5 probability then car move to top car move to bottom and then at the end car dispose okay so our logic is there and we will try to run our model by using this run button we can compile only or we can compile and run using this button okay let's run the model okay here it is the exception what the what it says road is not specified road is not specified okay let's see what we have done I'm just closing it. Stop the model and close it. Let's see. We have designed a network, road traffic network, and we place the roads and intersection. Our design is there. Okay. And here is the logic. How we want our traffic to move. But we didn't create a link between these two. We have to link our logic, our flow logic, with the, with the map we just uh, designed or created. Okay. So we named it accordingly according to our understanding but there is no link how to create a link i'll tell you now just click on the right car source this is the car source coming from the right here i need my properties view and my map also see the the name i've uh, already changed the name and uh, for now ignore the other options and come to road which road i mean Okay, where you can see the explanation where the car will be placed after start of movement. Okay, so I'm using this icon. It will allow me to, to select the road. Just click on this icon and click the part of the road which you mean. Okay, and see as my cars are coming from the side, you can see the arrow direction. This is the forward lane. Forward lane is already selected so it's good no need to change anything just click on the road which you want to use as a card source okay similarly come to car move to car move to left car move to left i mean the cars which will go straight so here also come back to the map click this icon and click this part of the road now here the tricky thing is you can see the road direction it is the the arrow is towards this side so if a car is coming from that side it will not go it is not allowed to go toward the wrong side it must go straight so here i have to change the radio button to end of backward lane end of backward lane when the arrow here the arrow is not available that is the backward lane i have to collect i have to select this one if you will not select and you forget when you run the model it will give you an error and then you will find out so it's okay to make mistakes for the first time that's fine now select the another car move to block and by this block i mean the top side of the road come back to the map use this icon and select the upper part of the road this road segment and here again i don't mean the forward lane when the car will turn right it will go towards this lane so this is the end of backward lane right similarly the last one car move to bottom Select this one and come here, select this part of the road and here also we have to select the end of backward lane. Okay, so I think we have 
we have connected all the move tools and all the sources done and for car dispose no need to no need to specify anything here of course when the car will move towards that road finally it will be disposed out of the model after that just you model no error for now try to run it and see what happens okay nothing can we speed up the model this is what we want to make this is the flow right and uh, I, I have to extend that flow chart and um, make the top bottom and left side of the car source work okay I'll stop here okay so this is our flow model we have to replicate this uh, for the top side for the bottom side and for the left side for now I think this is enough just practice it and do the mistakes and learn from them